Thank you. Can everybody hear me? Uh, so this is a really neat experience, being able to speak to both the graduating class and the incoming group all together. So um, I'm not taking it as I'm cheating and getting out of having to give two speeches and only having to give one. It is really, truly a neat experience. Um, as Kim said, my name is Melissa Barnes, and I am the HR manager for Marshall Utilities. And that's a job that I was not going to apply for until my husband told me that he would send in my resume for me if I didn't. <laughs> Best decision ever. Um, I think about who I was when I started and the opportunities that I have had because of the job and who I have become. And it is awesome to be able to reflect back. Before I share my thoughts on leadership, I have to tell you the story of me receiving this award, which was done, you were there, very graciously, I must say. My coworker and the person who nominated me, who's here today, um, told me that our general manager had been honored with the award and she needed my help getting everyone there. I went to work on it right away. I got all of the managers and their spouses. I got all of our commissioners. And I even got our general manager's wife set to come. Now I just had to stay quiet leading up to the banquet and figure out how to explain to our general manager why we all showed up, including his wife. But he didn't ask, and he almost seemed like he was avoiding me. During the award presentations, I had my camera ready under the table to catch, capture the look on his face when they said it was him. <laughs> Only as I started describing the winner, and you just heard Kim's, Kim's words were some of the same words he said that night. As he started describing the win winner, I think it was the moment that they said, um, lights up, they light up a room. I knew it was not him. <laughs> no, no disrespect. Um, but at a certain point, it dawned on me. And when I went to the microphone, I was still floored. And I may have said something about my coworkers sucked. <laughs> but what I wish that I would have had the composure to say was that I am part of an awesome team. And if you have ever had the good fortune to be a part of a good team, then you get it. They suck was my way of saying I love you guys too. And I hope those of you graduating had a good team experience. And to this year's group, may you be blessed with a cohesive, positive, and life-altering team experience. Now, on to my thoughts on leadership and my leadership Marshall experience, and I promise to keep them brief. When I reflect upon my experience in the program, I remember all of the stages of a team. For us, forming was pretty easy, and we did well with performing for our event, but we got stuck for quite some time in the storming phase. We all were leaders, but very different types. We had that one person that danced to the beat of his own drum a bit, he didn't want to run meetings. He didn't want to organize meetings. He didn't really want to show up to the meetings. <laughs> but when we had a task for him, he somehow always managed to come through. And he came through with more than double what we asked for him. We had two alpha members who never seemed to be on the same page. I did have to make sure before I gave this speech that they weren't in this room, and they are not. Um, and that was probably what kept us in the storming phase quite a bit. And then there were two of us who were quiet leaders. And I've been thinking a lot lately about quiet leadership. Those leaders that we often think about or that come to our mind really easily, they can be loud or charismatic or eccentric or something else that maybe shouts leader in your face. Politicians might be a perfect example, and don't get me started on politics right now. Um, yes, I too can be a very loud leader, but what is a quiet leader? The quiet leader is the person that others go to for advice, even if it's not their role in the group or the company. They are the person who influences others, sometimes even without trying. And they are the leaders who take on leadership duties when no one else wants to, even if they don't want to. They're different than doers. They don't just wait to be told what to do, but they lead in subtle ways. If you fit into the category of the extroverted or obvious leadership style, then I implore you to think about the quiet leaders because you will need their styles sometimes too. And if you are a quiet leader, then I hope this helps you to see your value. So to the graduating class, 
be sure to take time to reflect back on your experience. What type of leader were you in your team? What type of leader do you strive to be in your daily life? All types are needed, so I know you provided value. Be proud and cherish those relationships that you formed. To the class starting today, be bold, try new things, take on a role you don't usually take, and learn from out how others lead too. And to everyone in the room, I'll leave you with two quotes. First, as Joe DiMaggio said, a person always doing his or her best becomes a natural leader, just by example. And from an unknown person, the quieter you become, the more you can hear. Thank you very much. Thank you.